It's time for QB1 with Chrissy Freud, and Jameis Winston is the quarterback of the day. Chrissy, let's talk a little bit about Jameis, specifically how he looks to you now coming off his injury. What's he set up for this upcoming season? Yeah, I think they've got a really good supporting cast. They've got Chris Olave in the fold. Michael Thomas is going to be back, should be at full capacity. And then you've got Jarvis Landry. So I think that he's in a position where he just can't really make any excuses for himself. And I thought that he showed some good things last year, still has some development as a passer to be had. And it's a small sample size over the course of about seven games. But I think that after he had that horrible touchdown interception ratio of 33 to 30 his last season in Tampa, that, I mean, the bar was set relatively low, but I think he made some strides. And I think that if he stays fully healthy this season, that there's a chance that we could see the Jameis Winston that went number one overall and figure out why that was. And when you think about what's possible this upcoming season, I mean, what sort of things specifically have the Saints done to put him in position to succeed? Yeah, I think it's those acquisitions of the wide receivers. I thought that he had a depleted, uh, just limited wide receiver room last year, which kind of makes what he did as a passer even more impressive. And so I think that they've set him up really well uh, this offseason. And there are some people that are going as far as to say that Jameis Winston has the ability to become an NFL MVP. And that's going to obviously ride on how much he develops that chemistry, um, how much of the sample size that we saw last year was for real, and then how those receivers end up performing. So you take the sample size from last year, Chrissy, and what else has he shown you in past performances going really as far back as you want to go that's indicative of what is still potentially possible for him? Yeah, I think he's kind of one of those guys that's been commended for his athleticism, and so that helps him out um, a little bit. I think that he's shown improvement, like I said, as a pure passer. I think there's still some improvement to be had in the deep passing game. He's mentioned that he wants to get better as an intermediate passer. But I think ever since he underwent that LASIK surgery, which I know Bruce Arian said that he could still see the guys in front of him and that it was kind of like a long distance uh, vision thing. I think that he's, he's, I mean, I think that it's affected him to a certain point because he got a lot better afterwards. So I think just watching him continue to improve upon that decision making um, and just seeing how much of what he's done is, is for real and how much he's going to build upon it moving forward. And when you think about the 30,000 foot view of his career, kind of the macro view of it all, I mean, to what extent is this a make or break season for Jameis Winston? Well, uh, one token, you look at it and you say, okay, this is only his second year with this. I mean, this his second year to start with the Saints. And so it's early from that perspective. But then you look at his body of work in Tampa. He had one really good season. The rest were lackluster. And then, I mean, on the stat sheet in the last season, he had a pretty good season outside of that touchdown inter interception ratio, but that kind of broke the entire thing. So we've seen the, I feel like several highs and lows from Jameis Winston. And now that it was kind of a wonky season for the Saints last year in terms of supporting cast and just unexpected things happening. But I feel like this year he's put in a good position. I feel like they purposely put him in this position. He's on a two-year deal. And so I think that if he performs subpar and he looks like that quarterback that we saw in Tampa from time to time, that this is kind of it for him just because the, the sample size over the career is long enough. We just have a small sample size of the Saints right now.